So I wanted to do just a quick video to show you guys a couple of resources I go to uh, to help me uh, calculate my long range ballistics data. Uh, one of those is the Hornady website. I go to the, the reason why I like this is one it's free and it's also something that you can use to print off of print off your information. Um, you can go to Hornady's website, go to their ballistics calculator, and then it brings up a screen. And I'll show you here on the mobile here in just a second because that's kind of a nice little feature too. But um, you can enter in all your information, print you off a drop chart, including wind drift. And uh, what I like about this is if you print off your information, your, your, your uh, calculations, then you can annotate and you can write in, you know, like your, um, your weather conditions, real world application, and you can test um, this, this theoretical information on paper with real world application. And that's nice. And then you can keep a record of it so that you have it uh, for the future. That's one thing I really suggest you guys do is keep um, a logbook or um, information every time you go out shooting um, so that you guys can have a better idea of what worked in the past, what didn't work in the past, and then you can go forward with it. It really helps you learn a lot. Um, helps you improve your long range uh, capability as well. This particular chart is worked up for the 36 grain CCI Mini Mag. Um, I'm going to be doing a long range ballistics test with it here, and uh, this is a little preamble to it. But I wanted to show you how you can do this on your mobile phone as well. Uh, this, uh, work, doing it on the computer is, is simple and straightforward. Um, it is it is that way on the mobile too, but I wanted to just show you how to do it out in the field. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what you do is you go to the ballistics, the Hornady website on your mobile phone. You can just Google it, ballistics calculator, and it'll pull this up for you. And I always used to like, like to use the advanced menu. Um, so you click on the advanced menu. We're going to type in a description. We're going to be doing the uh, 36 grain uh, mini mag. Okay, so there's our mini mag, 36 grain mini mag. Uh, the ballistics coefficient that I've looked up for that round is uh, 1.125. The velocity that I've recorded on a 10 shot average out of my rifle, which is the Savage Mark II BTVS 21 inch barrel, is, is 1250. Whoops. Is 1250 feet per second. It's a 36 grain hollow point. Um, maximum range, we'll just leave it at 500 there. Intervals, I always like to go with 50 intervals, just so you can see the see a little bit more additional information. My zero range is at 100 with that rifle, but I'm gonna my sight my sight height off of my bore axis is two inches on that rifle. We are using a G1 drag coefficient, and our shooting angle is zero. Wind speed, let's just type in 10 miles an hour. Whoops. And then wind angle, we'll just do it at 90 degrees. My altitude here is 4,600 feet. Whoops, keep getting that zero in between there. And barometric pressure, let's change our temperature to 72 degrees. And I'll change our my humidity to 30%. Okay, so that's all our information added in right there. And then what we'll do is we will go ahead and push calculate. And then what it does is it brings up um, all your information just like on the sheet here at the top that you've entered in. And then it gives you these drop these these charts for drop. So let's say we're going to be shooting at 344 yards or let's say we're 300 well let's, let's do 300 yards. At 300 yards we're looking at 54 foot pounds of energy, 824 feet per second. Uh, we need to come up in 33 MOA. Now, yesterday, my real world, my real world test, I had to actually uh, come up 35 MOA to be zeroed at 300. Um, it does show you the windage MOA. It shows you the trajectory, um, and those are really, really good. That that is really good information. And so it's just really nice. I mean, and then if you move back further, you can, you know, if you go to 400 yards, it shows you, look at that, an incredible 54 MOA that you have to, to uh, dial up. That's uh, 200 and almost 230 inches worth of, uh, worth of drop. So that's cool. Anyway, that's just a really, really neat program, one that I've really, really liked, and it's been a nice little resource for me.
Um, I always keep my charts when I when I print them out and um, and my annotations on them so that I have information from the past shoots. I want to show you one more thing. There's an application called uh, Streelock for uh, your Android phones, and this is a really really nice program. I really like it. Uh, it can be a little bit touchy. You've got to kind of know what you're doing with it. It's not necessarily the best for beginners. Um, but it is something that, that you can use. And I do use uh, the Streelock um, uh, one when I'm, when I'm in the field and I don't have internet to actually do my, my Hornady ballistics. Uh, this is a really, really great uh, application. It does show you, you can enter in different reticles on my Savage Mark II. This is uh, with my Diamondback. This is the, BC, the BDC reticle that I have in it. And it'll actually show me the drops um, from my MOA. Um, with my hash marks and it shows me the windage at 300 yards there. That's a really nice feature of the uh, of the uh, the application here. So that's another really great one. You'll have to kind of experiment with it. Um, you have to kind of understand your your uh, what you're doing there. What's nice about something simple like this is that anybody can use it. Um, a beginner can use it. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of, of knowledge in order to get you a basic drop chart. Anyway, guys, just a quick little video just to show you a couple of the features and resources I use uh, for my long-range shooting. Hopefully, uh, you found that interesting. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try to get back to you. And if I can't, maybe somebody in the comments will be able to answer your questions. So, all right, guys, thanks very, very much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Nice, that's